I'm Professor Henrietta Moore, and I'm the founder and director of the Institute for Global Prosperity at University College London. And so I'm Kim Boutin, I'm the co-founder of DVTK Studio, um, a digital, um, digital studio based between London and Paris. The Institute for Global Prosperity is redesigning what we mean by prosperity for the 21st century. In other words, it wants us to think about our economies in a different way. And one way to think about that is to ask yourself the question, is uh, the, our economy in the service of life for all of us and for the planet? Or, or are we and the planet in the service of the economy as it currently is? And so in this work, we've been collaborating together, thinking about um, how it is that a healthy, natural world is more important to our future than the question of economic growth alone. And so in this world of social or shared prosperity that we have been creating, our, our solidarity comes from the relationships that we have with each other. Um, and our future prosperity will depend on innovatively collaborating with each other. But when we say each other, we don't just mean humans, we mean all aspects of the living and natural world, the organic and the inorganic. So we have mountains in our world and we have glaciers and we have trees and we have birds and we have other cool things. And the question is, how can we together uh, share? Because an economy is about exchange. In an economy, you have to exchange resources so that all do well. So for all of us, um, you know, our oldest technology is language itself. And in a way, what this, the game does is allow us to go beyond, it uses language, but it allows us to go beyond the, the use of language to, to play with other dimensions of our senses, you know, our visual sense, but also the way in which we in, engage with others by taking their perspective and, and moving through the, the fantastic world that, that Kim and her colleagues have created uh, to experience things differently. So I think that that's important. I think it's a very, I think many people who come uh, will find this a very liberating experience as well as a very, very enjoyable one. And uh, this project has involved many, many people from like various places of the world. And I think it's something that is important to acknowledge as well. And it's also linked to the technology, right? Like the technology allows us to do that. And it's a great thing, I think. And, um, you know, like there is this, also this narrative right now that says that technology takes people, um, separates people from each other. But I think, uh, for, 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 for me, it's been, and in that project, I really felt that uh, it brings people together. And how could we create new relationships that recognize that we are indebted to each other, but in different ways and take our economy, uh, take our economy forward into a kind of uh, one based on indigenous principles and ways of respecting uh, other beings living and and uh, inorganic. And at the studio, what we always do is building virtual worlds. So in that case, we wanted to build a virtual world that would be, um, you know, it's we're not interested in trying to make something that looks like the world we have around us, but 
creating metaphors um, through the digital that can help people, um, you know, reflect on 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 the world that is surrounding us. So we were trying to eventually what we have created is kind of a a video game where from the very beginning we have at the same level all these characters that can be the glaciers, the mountain, the tree, and the human um, at the same level, and you can uh, you can be one of them. But that perspective also shifts you in space and time because we're very used to thinking of humans as being in charge of the world. And we think, for example, of the great things that we have built, like the pyramids. But when we were building this game, we were reminding ourselves that the oldest living tree in the world is 5,000 years old. So it's older than the pyramids. It was standing before we built the pyramids. Mm -hmm. And so if we're going to continue living in this world, we need to reflect on the way in which this world has been shaped over time. And that has not been by humans. It's been by all of these other uh, living things. And as I said, the inorganic and the organic. Human and planetary health are interconnected. And so our futures are interconnected. And, and we will only be able to continue really, if we can find new forms of collaboration, new ways of caring for others.